When I first was asked to do a TED Talk, I was, the first thing that I wrote was, have you ever thought about that the digital world is not just part of our lives, but an extension of our existence? And Dan and Nico were like, have you thought about keeping it simple? <laughs> My mind was racing with topics to talk about in AI, workflows, platforms, different uses of it, and even about reasoning of models and how its outputs are tailored for consumption, and they cannot even reason. But to keep it simple, some topics to talk about doesn't do justice. So what if we have a different way to introduce this world? For me, progress starts with a what if. And that's how exactly we started working together with our project called the Digital Cave. Before I introduce it, I will share a story. When I was in university, in my linear algebra class, um, and I see uh, someone in, in my classes there, it's nice to see faces, um, one of the professor asked, uh, after he had just explained the concept, he asked about the, the example to solve. And for some reason, I was paying attention to that class. <laughs> and uh, with, almost without thinking, I said the answer out loud. And the professor asked me to explain it to the class. And I paused because actually I had no idea. <laughs> so I said, intuition? He laughed and uh, said, your intuition is strong and listen to it. It's such a profound thing to say. I'm incredibly lucky to have had someone tell me that. Later in life, I had an idea to make a movie with AI about AI. I had no experience in filmmaking, but I had a vision and my intuition as a compass. And I was learning how to do video-to-video -video AI workflows. And I would run it locally, and it would take a long time to process. So I would let it run all night. And in the morning, the first thing I would do is go to my computer and see the result. I felt like a kid again, prompting something, not knowing how it's going to turn out and waiting for it to see how it's going to become. And I like that playfulness. So what if today's talk is not focused on industry-level driven AI about tools to optimize our workflow and profit and optimization and progress, progress, progress. But rather, what if we keep it fun and entertaining and with sort of playfulness going about this tech, which together for Digital Cave, for this project, uh, we go as Pulsovat. We gathered a bunch of online, to online tools and uh, open source project and built some sort of Frankenstein. <laughs> and the only thing that was in, my mi in our minds is, what if it works? We ended up building this interactive system that it was designed to be played with AI intuitively. When we exhibit it, we found out that it's more working as an art piece, and we saw people using it in ways that we couldn't. And people were approaching it with their own what-ifs with their own seeing the, the system itself having, what if I play with this knob? What if I play with that knob? Or what if I want to see a frog in a suit? <laughs> and I can see it in the screen that now my movement is some frog in a suit being rendered in real time. So for the people interested, I know that we want to keep it fun, but if they want to know what we built, we have here uh, a PC running this locally. It has an NVIDIA GPU. 
and it's using an SDXL model that is in turbo mode, and it's called Stream Diffusion. It's an open source project, open source. And we build these custom devices that we bind the parameters with the Arduino board. It's run on Touch Designer, and we are able to play with it. And since we want to keep it fun, I want to invite to the stage our friend Katrin Dielova. <laughs> and I hope you will enjoy. The stage is yours. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you.